Okay, everyone, this is Eric Yan with uh, another great video for you. Uh, it's Excel, it's called Excel VBA Read Text File, and you can download this at vbahowto.com. Download the file and the code there. All right, so anyway, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you all how to uh, download, uh, get, get a get the contents of a text file into your Excel spreadsheet okay so I have the example one the example file uh, not here let's see where it's at <clears throat> right here so I have this little file here it's called read file .dxt, and it's uh, just a text file you could dump download this let's say you're downloading from a mainframe or from some Big, big host computer like a SQL Server or Oracle database, some other SAP system, whatever. As long as it's, most of them have a can be delimited, are delimited by something. You you can allow it to delimit your your file by something, and that's what you need to do. Uh, this one just so happens to be delimited by by commas. Okay, that's what delimits every field every field in this uh, in this file uh, the first field is work order line number job number due date it's a typical it's out of eh, not perfect it's just uh, different different field names so what we're gonna do is I uh, put it into into this file right here and that knows I closed it so um, let me show you where it's at in my directory I just put in a little folder called read file and that's it right here okay so let me go to Excel file and I uh, click on notice that I put these field headings in here myself and because I want it I'm in when I'm importing I'm not putting them into um, I'm not putting them into I'm not getting the field names with it I'm just getting the raw data and that's that's fine uh, I said I don't want the field names so uh, I put in my own field names I, I like it because I format it better and then I can utilize Excel to to uh, analyze every every row I can tap dro uh, drop down and go row by row and analyze every row if I need to <clears throat> so uh, get new work orders goes out and he gets it gets the file contest and puts it on this sheet and then I have this little thing this is done okay it, it notice my fill names didn't didn't because I they didn't get erased because I went ahead and started with row two uh, essentially my pseudocode I delete anything that's a uh, starting a row number two uh, to column K and then on down and I go ahead and delete on down because I know I'm not going to have like 6,000 rows so if I do I just add more uh, to my VBA code and then I'm going to I add these these particular items uh, I'm formatting them as general okay I'm adding the due date okay I'm formatting that as a date real important and I'm going to show you that in the code uh, in just a moment Again, I don't know if I told you this or not, but you can download this database at vbahowto.com. And the required material, anything over here is general general formatting, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's turn our eyes and attention to the code. Okay, uh, purpose of the purpose is to download a text file or dump it, contents of a text file, and just using a ADO connection, ADO connection. Again, you need to reference the the ActiveX Data Objects 2.5 library, which is right up here in the Tools References section. Okay, that notice I have a check mark. It's called Early Binding. Okay, uh, here I have my my workbook. It's called ReadFile.txt. I'm looking at my path. This work by path is really, really useful. Uh, here's my here's my connection string for a text file. Okay, notice it. 
it's uh, different than my other video where I show you how to tap in a query and Excel file this one's a little bit different okay the connection source and then I'm going ahead and opening it basically selecting everything from the from the file and then I'm querying and adding the different values here and I'm going ahead and formatting the different items I'm going to turn this off because uh, all right so I for the here's a, here's a, a good way to do it um, a little little trick uh, if you don't know the right syntax record a macro and figure it out <laughs> you can read what the macro says the macro will show you how to do this do this formatting okay um, this is how you, you put it into uh, useful useful code for yourself I'm selecting ranges a through C and I'm formatting as general I'm selecting D formatting as date selecting E through K as general and then I'm selecting and be done with it so uh, again not leave any comments or questions below the video is over uh, make sure you download the code at vbahowto.com and I'll put a link down there in the uh, the comment box you can comment, subscribe, and rate the video. Oh, I really, really appreciate it. And uh, let me know if there's something else you need to see or you want to see. Uh, hopefully, I can get to it in a timely manner. Um, hopefully, you're not under a crutch, a time crutch. Give me a month uh, or a few, a few weeks, or um, it just depends how long the video is. But anyway, enjoy. Hope that it helped. And I hope it helped again. And make sure to come out to vbahowto.com. And I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.